Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Louise. Uh, second video on this channel. How exciting. I've got to rush into my mouth. Um, okay, so I wanted to address the hair. <laughs> so I had a couple of videos saying about, um, sorry, I'm getting a drink, about my hair. So let me tell you about the hair. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be blue. Okay, I know I've gone through a lot of colours in the past. This is just, um, look as I just, you know. So, Blossom bought me um, this pink hair dye for Christmas. And I was really feeling it, like, I'm going pink. I've never done pink. I'm excited about pink. I was ready for it. Put the hair dye on. It didn't cover all my hair. So, I thought, okay, what colour goes with pink? Purple. Obviously. Um, put a bit of purple in the back just to cover the, the bit that the pink didn't cover did all the you know waiting all that sort of stuff rinsed it out literally the entire pink came out like there was not even a tint of pink it just the wind's coming up i'm hoping you're not going to hear it so bad I'm, I'm recording on my gopro so i'm trying to suss out all the wind things um, we will get there the wind hasn't been this bad i'm just waiting for it to die down hopefully it won't get so bad anyway um, yeah, so all the pink completely came out and I thought, okay, well, I've still got this like bit of purplish in the back and I've got to do something. So we just dumped a whole lot of blue. I literally have not felt the blue since I put it in. It just, it didn't feel right. And that's really weird because we've gone blue before. You know, we've gone blue before. Everyone loved the blue before. And I've had a few comments saying, okay, I'm not being funny. I'm not being rude. I'm just letting you know, blue just doesn't do it for you. And how weird is that? I never had any of them comments before. But this time, I was feeling the blue just wasn't it, and I got the comments. So yeah, I just wanted to address that. I'm really sorry if the, the wind... Really? I've gone on a low field, so there's a field up there that's up a hill. I don't know what you're going to hear, and this is really frustrating. There's, it like, we're, we're down on a bottom field and and there's a there's a hill bit onto the top field so i thought we'd be protected from the wind and then all of a sudden i sit down and it all comes out where's the sun okay so we've we've addressed the blue hair dye what else we've got to address okay so i've already recorded this so i said i was going to go outside my comfort zone and my comfort zone is probably what a lot of you just do every day but there's reasons for it and you know so, um, people seriously gonna come down here. So, I decided that I'm gonna go in a shop and buy some clothes by myself. I know that might sound silly, but I always take someone with me for somebody else's opinion because I don't trust my own opinion. I didn't realize that I don't trust my own opinion. I thought I just can't make the decision. But it's, I don't trust my opinion. It, the, yeah, it's going to be a whole lot of trauma therapy. We'll figure that stuff out when we get to it. But um, we, as you know now, like we're not in therapy right now. We're going to wait a few more weeks. So the mood is a little bit lower. I definitely need my therapist to help me through. I'm trying to keep up with the um, techniques that he's given me. But it's really easy when, I don't know, like when you feel like you don't have somebody to check in with or to keep you on track like I know that's the wrong way of thinking it because it's, it's literally this is me this is my brain and my mind and my life and oh don't even know where I'm going with that so anyway and um, there's some, gonna be some footage in a moment when I shut up of um, me going to Matalan I picked up all these clothes I did have my earphones on I realized it was not the right time of day to go i always go i work in in town so i go i go and do my bit straight from work and i didn't i do know i just keep forgetting that later on in the day it gets busier and i am not good around people i really am not so i was already a little bit uncomfortable i had my earphones on to try and like blank out the noises from people a little bit so i could be in my own world and center on what i was doing i picked up a whole range of clothes that i probably would never have picked up before because i'm going outside my comfort zone so I tried them on and I've sort of given you a little bit of a thumbs up or a thumbs down or I don't know type thing. I didn't come out the shop with anything. 
but baby steps we're going with baby steps i went into the shop i picked clothes up and i tried them on i never try them on in store if i do like something i might pick it up judge my size buy it bring it home try it on figure it out and then take it back so it was a big thing for me i got extremely frustrated and extremely anxious there was way too many people around it was uh you'll see the lighting wasn't great it was very strangely done like it was um wooden cubicles and they didn't have separate lighting from the store it was literally it was open to the rest of the store very strange again and there you couldn't tell i thought you would but you couldn't tell there was clearly some child in some cubicle further up that was banging on the door in between me recording i, I held onto the door to feel it and you could tell it was a, a steady there was somebody definitely messing about so my anxiety was getting higher and higher and higher and um, a couple of things I think I'm gonna get but I need to try a different size and I was just I was done with it like it was a huge deal doing that and I wasn't gonna beat myself up about it I'm gonna go back you know pick, pick I think there's gonna be the shorts you couldn't tell I didn't realize I thought you could tell like they were right textured i will when i buy them i'll show you but they were really textured they were so comfortable i feel like possibly a smaller size in those ones um and possibly the dress the uh sort of leopard print type dress possibly so i'll show you the picture of that but i'm gonna it's gonna be i'm gonna put some music over it because i didn't speak um it was extremely uncomfortable but i want to put it up because i'm going outside my comfort zone with everything like small things big things like small things for me that you may do as an everyday thing and think nothing of it is huge for me and that's what we're celebrating like anything that's big for me we're celebrating right now so i will probably insert that now did it but I was extremely anxious but I still didn't I was very pleased with myself coming out of it um, so the big news um, so I, I think I mentioned on the other channel it's gonna get a little bit confusing for a while try and figure out what to tell people that are new here or people that already know what's going on um, that I think it was like a week and I think I mentioned it I can't rem honestly remember whether I did but I think I mentioned something along the lines of uh, about a week and a half after um, Chip passed Scott had messaged me saying that he's planning on going on holiday he'd like me to go with him and the offers there if I want to go and I said no absolutely no no interest like you know I was in the depths of everything at that point but he did message me a few weeks back and I didn't mention anything don't know why no particular reason um didn't mention anything to anybody not even blossom or corey um but he did um he messaged me and said i'm not pressuring you if you want to go great if you don't i'm still going to go um but if you want to sit with me on the plane because i am a nervous flyer i'm nervous at everything um then you need to let me know soon because he he contacted them and and the flight was filling up basically so I decided outside my comfort zone let's just go so I'm actually gonna go on holiday 
we're gonna go to Grand Canary on Thursday so that's the reason I went to Matalan to try some clothes on um, yeah so you're gonna get some footage of that things are gonna be a little bit wobbly for a few days because I've decided that I I have not had any time off since Christmas um, I think I'm sort of wearing myself out physically emotionally um, the past week I haven't really been giving myself enough time I've not been going on my walks and listening to my podcast which is really it helps me keep focus and I've not been doing it because I know I've got you know I've, I've been trying to keep in the present like I said I've got to stay in the present what's happening right now and I'm really trying to keep myself pulled into that um, but you know this is a new way of living and it, I'm gonna mess it up an awful lot which we all are um, but that's part of this journey isn't it um, I'm gonna tell you when I mess up I, I mean I think that's the wrong way of saying it. I'm not messing up I'm just not as focused because I know I've got a lot of things that I, I want to make sure I you know I've got, I've got a pack I've got to be planning make sure the bills are paid whilst I'm away make sure Corey's got whatever he needs you know he's got access to the you know putting gas on or electric on or um, you know all the little things make sure I've got my passport and it's all in day uh, you know I've got all those things and but I'm trying to focus on doing those things but still staying present with it all as well um, and I think for the past week I've probably neglected my own personal space that bit of um, self-care which is just me walking focusing on my emotions and trying to keep myself reg regulated a little bit I don't I, th I think I'm I'm struggling to find the correct words as well because and I'm hoping that you're gonna um, help me with this because I know I I say words that I are negative and then meaning to be negative and I always think okay well I'm saying the word but I don't mean it but it doesn't matter you're saying the word and I'm, I'm using uh, stupid is a word that keeps coming into my brain again that we know is a bad word because I'm not stupid the thoughts I'm feeling are not stupid but I'm struggling to find that balance so please <laughs> give me some comment of words that I can start changing my mind frame um, yeah is that everything I just wanted to update you on everything that's going on right now so this is actually it's Saturday right now oh let's do a mini haul I'm sitting here in the middle of a field and I keep hearing voices and I'm getting a little bit self-conscious because I'm sitting in this field you are you are balanced on a what they call it American baseball fence that's never been used since they put it in I, they put it in so many years ago it's never been used so I just went to Sainsbury's to pick up an SD card for the GoPro that I'm now recording on because I'm starting to try and use it again turns out that weren't available but I did get myself me for me it's exciting um, I got myself a an Alexa this is like I have one in the the kitchen and I, I love using it I mean she don't like me Alexa just has an itch issue with me like she's so rude to me seriously I can ask the same question as Corey or Scott can ask or Blossom and she's just rude to me but <laughs> I want her to I want one in my bedroom so it's upstairs so when I'm uh, going you know doing some face mask or something I can listen to music or listen to a podcast and this is actually down from um, 55 to 35 and I've actually got a 25 voucher that I got so long ago I can't remember why I've got it so I went and treated myself to that the SD card wasn't there whilst I was in Sainsbury's because that's where our Argos is I don't know if Scott's going to use it or watch this or not so Scott is down right now because clearly we're going on holiday Thursday he's off work so he just come down because there's some uh, is an aeroplane really low we're, we're close to the Stansted uh, what do they call it path where they all the planes circle above us so you might randomly hear that um, yeah so he's here now because his rail strikes on second and third and it was just easier for him to be here he you know he sorts out all the food like I don't have to worry about breakfast when I get in from work I don't have to worry about tea I don't have to worry about that it's what deals with all the food so he's taking a bit of pressure off me so I can focus on other things but I was in Sainsbury's and I don't go in there much and I found these this is for me I've never tried them before I don't know if they're gonna be any good barbecue sticks but they look really strong I mean I know it's a picture I know but I wanted to give them a go and then <laughs> I saw these salt vinegar balls I love a salt vinegar so I thought I'd give them a go £1.25 each this is actually for Scott 
this is why I say I hope he's not gonna watch it. I sort of hope he's gonna because, you know, I don't know, he probably would hear things that I wouldn't say to him in person, so it might help things. He's, I have to say, like, I give him props, he's really, really trying hard. So this is jalapeno and dill. It's, I think, right, two of his favourite flavours. These are three pound, but if you've got an extra car, it's two pound. Oh, Corin actually messaged me when I was in there. I don't think he even knew I was in there. And he said, did you buy any sausage rolls this week? Which I didn't. So I just got him sausage rolls from, um, Sainsbury's. This is the cheapest one I could find, two pounds. So yeah, not, that's why I don't shop in Sainsbury's. I know people say that they are cheaper and a lot of things, they probably are, but it really depends on what you shop there, what you're buying for. So you've got like a sort of mini hall in the middle of a field. And I don't know if you can hear any of it because the wind keeps picking up. It literally hasn't been this windy all this time. So I think you're updated on everything. You've had a mini haul. I've explained about what's going on with my hair. I'm actually trying to wash it as much as possible to get it out of it because I'm just not feeling it. It just, as soon as it was in, I just, I thought, give it a few days. I know I'm not good with change. I'll get used to it. I've never had an issue with my hair dyes, but just not feeling it. So I'm trying to get it out, get it as natural as possible. We'll see. Um, going on holiday on Thursday. I'm sure there'll be another video. I really hope the wind is enough. I apologise if it is. It's just gonna. We just got to play this thing by ear. I have got a waterproof thing that I did alter because I'm hoping to go in the sea or go in the pool and I'll give you some different views. I'm gonna try that and see if that'll help with the wind, but I just didn't bring it out with me. And I think we're up to date. So, um, yeah, second video. I hope you don't come out too bad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go now. I am a send out good vibes as I always do. I hope you'll catch them and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.